to see quiet becoming you know I think I think that for me the exciting thing about quiet is just the idea of uh, a large a large organization that is uh, really producing good art producing great art that challenges us that gets us to reflect on society and on ourselves in different ways um, and we're in utilizing every uh, possible form of art uh, that's that to me you know we're already starting that process, but that to me is the, the most exciting thing about it and uh, what I'm excited to see happen. Like I said in my previous rant, I was just like you, insignificant. I would want by my flight almost every night, never changing anything. When I find my stuff, took my life, my hands started acting and thinking and being a man. And then I found that I could do something deeper inside of that connection of art that we had there's something that's that pulled at us at a deeper level that maybe we couldn't articulate or that maybe we didn't articulate in one way or another but it created this deeper seed inside of us that gave us place, that gave us belonging, that gave us a sense of identity, and all of that was sort of wrapped around this idea of art, but it wasn't the art in and of itself. Um, it was this larger picture of being connected to something bigger than yourself, being, being a part of something that's larger than just you as the individual. And I think that is what's really exciting about quiet is that quiet is aiming to be something larger than just an individual it's aiming to be um, a group of artists who are intentionally and actively seeking to be together and to engage in 
art in a collaborative manner and by doing so um, invite an audience into that process and I think that to me is very exciting. I think that to me is, is the exciting thing about art is that we're able to address really conditions of the soul, conditions of the heart, and, uh, and a lot of times those are manifested externally, but uh, we really get to address again those real core issues of who we are as people, what it means to be human, and how that uh, affects our relationships with each other. We want to find ways as a collaborative community to engage in the multiple facets of all of those artistic expressions at, and very intentionally try to um, highlight, accentuate, and celebrate art in its wide variety of expressions. And I think by doing so, by engaging on, in art in a very textured, multidisciplinary fashion, we are hopefully touching on the multiple senses that many individuals use uh, in order to process and in order to uh, sort of uh, connect with art. So one person may be really into the, the sensory visual aspect, whereas somebody really connects with a character in a theatrical performance, and somebody maybe really c connects with the, the construction of words on a literary page and all of those are attempting to say or to elicit the same types of responses but they're doing it in different ways and by doing so we're reaching a wider variety of people. Superman! Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Most individuals want to see some sort of change, whether that is on that individual or institutional level, but I think one of the daunting things is to do that alone. Uh, so again, I see Quiet as being this community-based place where art is the medium in which the change is enacted. So I think one of the problematic things with seeing just art as that medium for change is that sometimes the art is sacrificed or it becomes this propaganda, look at here's our agenda, here's what we want to get across. Uh, and I think that that happens when we kind of lose sight of what that end goal is and the end goal being to actually evoke this change. And so the more that we can figure out what that change looks like, how that we can make that tangible and break that down, uh, I think that that's where art and change kind of come together and they're at their best in that we're not trying to change everything all at once, but you're taking those steps, so you're not feeling like that individual that's kind of on this, you know, lone, deserted island with this idea to change the world, but you're able to come together and to take the small steps in that. Are you quiet? Are you quiet? Are you quiet? Aerodynamic Ford has the biggest G8 engine.